Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 18 the show road to the show with Demarcus King here on e here on the channel as uh, we are back here for another episode of Demarcus King and his career here in Major League Baseball so uh, we are getting closer to the all-star game here and uh, as you see there the guys getting uh, kind of warmed up and ready to go here uh, but as you may have, uh, well, if you haven't been following here on the channel here, or at least in this uh, series, we've been traded. Uh, we've been traded to the Charlotte Knights, which is the AAA organization for the Chicago White Sox. So we're part of the White Sox organization, and there you see we're just four games out of first place right now in the International League South Division now. So we'll be representing the International South Division, as uh, of course we were in the North Division with the Bison. So. Uh, you know, things have changed here, and then now we just got to try to see if we can try to adjust here and get ready to go. Now, we are going to still be eligible to play in the World or the um, All Star game here, and but uh, we'll just be playing for the um, other side now. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I think here in a bit we'll just see where his uh, standings are right now as a uh, second baseman. There, you see the rest of the um, numbers there. For all-star voting right now and like I said he'll be playing now for the South Division and we'll see him uh, I believe that he's had enough I think he has enough votes or at least he's been playing well enough he should be the starter there you see yeah 400 443,000 votes for him and he is going to be the starting second baseman for them so we'll see him in action as he'll take on the Pacific Coast League they are coming up here in this game so should be a pretty good game here you see his former teammate there ds uh, there he's going to be of course the starting shortstop there uh for the north there and yeah so um we'll see how we'll get this to play out here and like i said he's been traded uh it's kind of a little bit of a shocker there to really to myself uh, i wasn't really expecting him being traded or anything like that I wasn't asking for a trade or anything I uh, was just hoping that, you know, there's been so much talk about the scouts showing up and, and, and you know, possibility of getting, uh, you know, playing second base. We were able to get called up here quickly to the major leagues. But, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Well, at least not in the, at least with the uh, Blue Sox, or the Blue Sox, <laughs> the Blue Jays situation there. As the Blue Jays um, will uh, not, uh, well, they, they decided they go a different route here. And uh, I'm not for sure what, what we were traded for, or, or who were you know, who were traded. For. I don't know if we got traded by you know because of they needed some help. Major, I'm, I'm assuming major league somewhere. Uh, we got traded with uh, another with a major leaguer, and then and then they needed a uh, you know uh, the White Sox wanted some kind of uh, young up, young upcoming player, so they decided to pick us out. So. Uh, okay, well, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, if that's going to be the case here. So, there you see the International League take on the Pacific Coast League. Excuse me. And uh, there's the starters right there for us that we'll see them in action here today. We'll be in Cleveland for this game here. So, progressive field here. A beautiful night here for some midsummer baseball. So, we'll see if Demarcus can uh, really show off what he can do here. Of course, this will uh, be a Hopefully, it'll be a future um, stadium that he'll be able to visit here quite often. You know, playing for the White Sox there. This is the well, American League Central Division there. So, uh, you know, he'll be seeing the Indians quite often. As we'll go ahead and see him in action right now, we're going to see him play some uh, outfield here. Third inning. It's 5 nothing already here as Pacific Coast League are uh, leading this one. And they're pretty, playing pretty good baseball. As you see a ground ball here, try to see if we can get the double play. Get tossed over to second and over to first, and that is going to turn the double play, and that is going to end this side. So nice job there for them as they are able to turn two there and get out of the inning there as uh, quickly as they could. So we'll see here in the uh, bottom half of that same inning here, and we'll see what we can do, or excuse me, the top half. Uh, of the inning here, we'll, or yeah, that no, was the bottom half of the inning. We'll see what he can do here. As we'll see, there that is going to be a ground ball 
out there, and that's just going to be a routine play there on Mr. King. So King here trying to get something going here. Go bottom of the fifth here, up to bat again for the second time, and King gets underneath this one. This is just going to be a high fly ball out to center field, and that is going to be out number two, uh, or excuse me, out number one for him. And his second at bat wasted there on that play. So it goes seventh inning now here. It's a 6 3 ball game. International League starting to come back. And we'll see here. This one gets rocketed out there to right field. This one, right fielder misses this dive. And so that's going to be now a nice triple here. I don't know if they're going to call an error on the right fielder, but this is going to be a nice run there. And that's going to put him in scoring position at third base. So we'll go ahead and see here. They, they, we do find out that it is a triple. So nice job there for uh, King. But we'll see a 2-2 count here. This one is going to be grounded there. That one is going to be, well, that is not going to be. Yeah, the run will score there as uh, Luskett there will get the thrown out there at first. And that will end the uh, his at-bat. But a run will, of course, come across. So now one for three now here in the bottom of the ninth. Runners at first and second. And, of course, King love to try to do something here to try to get back in this ball game here. But this one goes high and deep. This one not deep enough to go out of the ballpark. The center fielder will find this one near the uh, warning track there. And we'll go ahead and get the out. As there's two runners still on board here with two outs. And it looks like the International League will not win this one here today. Pacific Coast, well, they pick up the victory, and they win the Midsummer Classic. So, nice job for the Pacific League as they win the AAA All-Star Game here. Unfortunately, well, for uh, King, uh, not a good night. Not a night that he at least won it there. He goes one for three in this uh, with a triple, and unfortunately just cannot get the win there for the International League. And that'll be it for the week for the week for midweek facilities for the All-Star game as we uh, come to a close to a wrap up here for that. So we'll have get to the second half of the season here in just a bit as you take a look at some of the numbers there. And there you see, yep, made the roster there. That's uh, one of his my, well, one of those little milestones he has for his career there. You can put that into his uh, notes there and, and we'll You'll see that in the past here or in the future here that he didn't make an all-star game. If I'm not mistaken, I think this might be the first road to show player we've since I've done uh, road to show here on YouTube uh, that actually went to an all-star game. I think all the others uh, were getting close to an all-star game and then were eventually called up, um, you know, before they can get to the, the you know to a triple you know minor league all-star game there. So that's definitely a first here. Uh, I, I, I think I'm for sure. I think that's for sure. I think that's uh, that's the king will be the first one to ever do that. So big ups to him. That was to see here. Four games behind for first place. Take a look here at our major league club, and there you see we're just 14 and a half games behind, and they're trying to make a big turnaround there. As I'm sure, if uh, things get any worse, we may get a call up here just to kind of see what we can do there, in major league. And might even have a spot there for us for next season. So, there you see our old ball club there. The Blue Jays, of course, just a game and a half behind the Red Sox. And in case we're going to keep a track of them from time to time and see what they're up to. But we'll get back on the field here with Charlotte Knights here. And the Charlotte Knights uh, back on the road here. We're going to play against the Durham Bulls. And we'll see what we can do here in this uh, three-game or four-game series here with them. As you see DeMarcus there, you see last four games there, 10 of 18. He is hitting on, he's pretty much on fire right now behind the, uh, near the plate. As well as here, first at bat here in the inning, or in the ball game here, second inning, and we'll see here, he'll fly this one out to right field there. That is going to be going off the wall, and that is going to be a double there for him. So nice job there, getting in scoring position now. And we'll see what his teammates can do here. If they can try to move him over here with a base hit, they'll hit a one over there. And they will do so, but that'll be a sacrifice a out there. And we'll move the runner up 90 feet to third as there's now two outs here on the Charlotte Knights. So Alfred now coming up to bat here. One home run, two RBIs for him for the season. 
he's hitting at 375, so he's right near average, right above the average there. And we'll see what he can do here with a 1-2 count with one runner on board here. And this one is going to get hit out there. This is going to be short out to the right center field. And that is going to be uh, out there for the ninth. So one runner straight there. That will be King at third. Fourth inning now here. We've got one runner on board. King here looking for a pitch here. Hits this one up the middle there. That's a hit and run. And we'll see King. He will go ahead and be safely there at first as he run, moves the runner over from first to third there on a hit and run. Now one, two count now for the next batter here. King's going to go ahead and try to steal here. And he does so. Nice job there. We don't see him do that too often. As that is actually a double steal there for the Kings or for the Knights there. And we'll see what they'll be able to do. As they still cannot get a run across the plate. Let's go to the sixth inning here. This one hit up the middle here. Will this be enough to get the runner over to scoring position? Well, yeah, but doesn't score. King up to bat now again in the top of the eighth. With two outs here and two on. And King here hits this one here. And the runner. From third, it's going to go ahead and try to take off here, try to tie this ball game up, and he will do so there. Nice job there from him as he'll go ahead. And there you see King fired up about that as he is on board there and brings home a run. But unfortunately, not enough for us to get really anything going there as the Knights come up short here in this one. They'll lose this one. Final score, 3-1 to one is your final score. As uh, King goes four for four in this ball game with two or with a double, a uh, stolen base and an RBI, but the team just cannot muster up anything to get a uh, you know uh, more runs across the play. They only get one run across there, and a tough break there for that ball club. So now we'll go to the second game of this series here against the Durham Bulls. And so we'll see them in action again here with our Knights. King, of course, them they, they would like to turn things around here and start trying to get a winning momentum going here for themselves. As we go to the second inning, 0-1 count. King looks and fought, hits this one out there. This one goes deep to center field here. This is one going all the way back. And we'll see here that is going to bounce off the wall and be a single there, or excuse me, a double there for him as he's in scoring position. So now we'll go ahead and get to the next at bat here for the next batter here. And King's gonna come around here. He's oh, thinking about going to third or thinking about going home. But is held up there at third with a runner now in uh, or two runners in scoring position now at second and third. So no double play here. But they will try to uh, move the runner over here as we got Alfred up again here. We'll see there, 250 average now. He's had a tough game there just a night ago. And uh, he won't be able to do it. Well, actually, no, he gets, uh, actually, I believe he gets walked there. We'll see now here with uh, with one out. And we'll see there. It's going to be a swing and a miss there. And that's going to be two away with the bases still loaded here for the Knights. So the Knights now have another batter up to bat. Full count now here. They got a good opportunity to do something here. And we'll see this one gets hit out there. This is going to go out to right field. But that's just not going to be enough there as the right fielder gets underneath that one for a base hit or for a uh, fly out there. So bases are still loaded or were loaded there. Now we'll go back to the fourth. King has a runner on second here. And King is going to hit this one high and deep there. He is going to hit this one. And this one is just going to be a fly ball. Runner from second is going to go ahead and tag up. And there will be a runner now at third with a uh, with about an uh, out left. Four, six inning now here. Runners at first and second. King looking up the uh, bat here again once again here. Looking for a pitch. And uh, that one's just going to be a double, uh, double hitter there. Or not double hitter, but a double play there as he's going to get out. Now we're trailing by one here as we find score, put a score on the board here. This is 2-1 here. King hits this one, and he is trying to find a gap out there. Does so. Run One run roll coming around to score here. Second one look trying to get around to score here, and does so. And now, now, now make that, uh, well, two runs now. And they t or lead this one by, th by, one, by a run. So 3-2 now here. King there at second. Runner, or batter here hits that one to third. King's going to stay there at second. And that's going to leave him there with two outs. 
he is going to be so far a left strand there. They can't really move that runner over to get him in scoring position. So Alfred now coming up to bat here. One for two now for the day. He's single back in the seventh. We'll see what he can do now This uh, in this at bat here. Two outs and it's a 1-1 one, one count. Trying to see if they can find a gap here for him as he hits this one. This one goes sailing across over to right left field. That is going to be a fly ball there. And unfortunately, there were no runner can advance there as that's going to be it for the inning. So tough break there indeed. As we go ahead now to the top of the six now, it says a four, three, or excuse me, top of the tenth now. Four, three now here. Kings lead this one. Or the, not Kings, the Knights. I don't know why I keep saying Kings. The Knights go ahead and they lead this one, but well, he grounds ball, has a ground ball there, and that's a tough break for King as he and the Knights are, uh, are well, they win this one here by one. A nice victory there for him and for his ball club here as King goes two for five in this ball game, and uh, he has two doubles, two RBIs there. Hitting still well, way above average now at 529 here with his new ball club. So we'll see uh, what they can do here coming up in the next uh, game here. But before the next game, we actually have a meeting with our head coach, the head skipper, and he wants to talk to us about. Well, I don't know really what what it's about, but we're about to go find out and see. So let's go talk to the skipper right now and see what is up. In his career, this player is being told to pack his bags. It's upending news, to say the least. The players left to wonder about reasons. It can be a helpless feeling. Within a couple days, he'll again be putting on a different uniform. A minor leaguer is welcomed after being brought into a new organization as part of a trade package. His name may not have made headlines in this deal. But if he's a hit in the long run, it could be a real feather in the GM's cap. Okay, so we got traded again? Seriously? Okay, so now we are no longer with the AAA organization of the White Sox, but we're still in the same division, but with another team. We are with the Kansas City Royals. Yeah, we're in Omaha now. We're part of the Storm... Uh, Ch Chaser, I think that's where they are. Uh, so we're going to be part of their organization here. And it looks like we're going to finish off this two-game series uh, that they have with Memphis here. Um, and they're at home. So uh, there you see the Storm Chasers there. You just see three and a half games uh, behind the Sky Sox, which are, I believe are the Colorado Rock Rockies um, ball club there, AAA ball club. Um, there you see the Oklahoma City Dodgers and the, of course, Iowa Cubs there. So we're going to play the Memphis Redbirds. And actually, not uh, just recently here, I just got back from a vacation to Memphis. Uh, my sister lives down there. Her and my nephew live uh, down in, uh, just in, in north uh, Memphis. And I actually got to see the uh, stadium for the Redbirds. Of course, they are our, our franchise, uh, the, the you know, St. Louis Cardinals are our franchise here on the channel that we're playing. Uh, at some point here, we'll have some more footage of that series here on the channel. But um, I actually got to see the stadium there. It's a beautiful, beautiful stadium. It sits right downtown. 
uh, there in Memphis. And um, I was kind of just chuckling when this happened. I was actually on vacation when I was playing this. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, seriously? Like, uh, of all the teams, you know, you got to pick the team that, you know, I, I give the most crap about uh, besides the Yankees. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be part of the Royals organization now. So we could have a good chance here to play in KC as you take a look at our starters here or at our uh, or at least the uh, guys who are playing the position right now and right now I mean really truly we could be the starter right now for KC as second base but um, looks like we're going to still be in Omaha or at least start in Omaha for the next couple of games here and maybe uh, possibly getting close to the maybe trade deadline maybe we'll uh, I don't know, maybe get traded again, or or if uh, hopefully we'll be with a ball club here, a major league ball club, and be hopefully with the Royals. So here we are in Omaha taking on the Memphis uh, Redbirds here, and we're going to see King here hits, it gets his first pitch there as a storm chaser, and that one will fly out there as there's runners left on board there, and nothing happens in the inning. So I'll go to the fourth inning here now. Top, bottom of the fourth here, we'll see the bases are loaded. And we'll see uh, what King can do here in this at-bat here. And he, for whatever reason, hits that one, goes off his bat there, and a run will come in to score. So it'll be a one nothing ball game. King now dropped their strike here. He's going to try to have to run, out, run this one here to, to first. And that'll be another easy play there to get him out. So... Go down to the seventh inning here now, and we'll see if he can do something here as they are now trailing by two. And we'll see that this one is going to be overthrown there as the runner will, or the uh, pit, I think the catcher just overthrew that one to second there. And when that runner will go ahead and took off, as we'll see here, King here, he'll find a gap out there. He scores one run in, and he is going for a triple here. And with one out now, they have one runner on board here in the at third base, and really just need a base hit to get this game back into a uh, ball game once again. Tie this game up here now. As you see here, King diving for that third base bag there. Nice job there. As they cannot make the tag, it's now three-two, and King's gonna kind of try to come in here to score here, and he does. And this one ties it up with, of course, trading an out for a run there. And it's tied up now. It's three all here in the seventh. Now go to the ninth inning here. It's a 5-3 ball game. Memphis starts coming back. And with that two-run lead here, they're going to try to see if they can shut the door here. But King finds a gap out there. And he says no. With two outs, he's going to try to keep a two-out rally going here as he's going to get it for a triple here. Try and get in scoring position. And he does so there with a nice slide. And there you see he is fired up. And he wants to get this ball team with a win here. New ball club he's with here. Trying to show them what he can do there with the bat. And, of course, now on the base pass here as he does get the triple. Nice job there for him. As now we go here, Reyes here up to bat. 0 for 3. And he just needs a base hit. He does not need to do anything more here. They just get a base hit. Now, if he gets a good pitch here and he can swing for the wall, go for it. But let's try to get a base hit here as they, well, he strikes out there. And the Redbirds pick up the victory here as they win this one of a final score of 5 <clears throat> to 3. So that is your final score there. 2 for 4 for, um, the, uh, for Demarcus King. As uh, he has uh, two triples in this ball game and an RBI in his pocket here today, and well, just not the day here, not the, not the debut he wants to have here with the Omaha Storm Chasers. As he does not uh, he comes up short here, helping his ball club here win out, try to win this one here. They did their best, but it came up short here today, as uh, he is one of your uh, key top performers uh, in the game here today as we'll see him um, get ready for the next game here coming up so the final game of this series here between these two ball clubs there you see the red birds their numbers here so far this season and as for us there you see uh, just one game above 500 in here and we're trying to see if we can get at least trying to get two games above 500 
as we get ready for this final game here. Beautiful afternoon here in Omaha. Getting ready for this ball game as we go to the top or bottom half of the second inning here. We up by two. And King, of course, would look love to have a nice pitch here to do something with. But the third baseman there gets that hot shot there. And that is going to be a nice catch there for the out. Now we'll go to the fourth inning here. Two outs here. Nobody on board here. King trying to look for a pitch here that he can do, do something with here. And he chops this one up the middle there. Easy play there for the fellow second baseman there as he gets King out on that ground ball. Six inning now. Uh, up by three here at this point. And King finally gets a base hit here. Knocks that one in there. And that is going to be a base hit for him as he is on board. So Omaha leads us now by three. And there you see a 12-game hitting streak there for King. As we'll see here, he's going to go ahead and try to steal here to second base here. And, oh, almost had that steal there, but he gets tagged right there at the at the bag. Tough break there for him. Take a look at the replay here, and we'll see here. The good throw there, but just a bad jump there from King as he was just not able to get there on time. Now, King up to bat here again in the bottom of the eighth. Hits this one high and deep there. Skying this one out there to left center field. Center fielder gets a hold of that one. And that is it for his at-bat as the Redbirds lead this one by one. Now, go to the top or bottom half of the 10th here. King here swings and misses there on that pitch right there. And that right there could have probably cost him there as there's now one out here. And the game's tied up five all. So, Redbirds really... Stay in the fight here for this one now. One for five. King up to bat once again here. And it's now still a 5-5 ball game here at the top. Bottom half of the 12th now. As there's one on. And we'll see here. King hits this one there. Finds a gapper out there. Could this be enough there to score a run here? Runner's coming around third here. Is trucking on down to home plate. And there you see they get the run and the win. And they get today's victory. Nice job there from Bonifacio. Getting in there and a score, especially a nice hit there from King. Getting the winning run there. Nice job as the Redbirds come up short here today as the uh, Omaha comes up in a big win here and wins this one. Final score, 6-5 to five is your final. Nice job there as King goes 2-6 for six in the ballgame. Of course, getting the game-winning RBI a double for his effort there. And he's batting 5-2. 20 now here for his triple a ball club so nice job there as they get the victory here as you see troy bush your player of the game there one for three there for him two runs a home run and an rbi there for the storm chasers as they are the winners in today's ball game so nice job there from the storm chasers and the fans there in omaha are going to go home happy with a nice victory here, especially coming off the bat of the newcomer, that being Mr. Demarcus King. So nice job there from King. I got to talk to King after the game here, and he said that, you know, uh, with all this craziness to him getting traded around here, he hopes this is the final stop here, uh, and hopefully he gets called up to the Kansas City uh, Royals there and be their second baseman here coming up. Uh, here in the foreseeable future, so we'll have to see what happens here. As he's been, you know, already traded now twice. Now he's been on three teams, and we're trying to see if we can get him called up here. You know, really thought that we we're gonna, our place was gonna be in uh, there in, um, uh, in, in in Toronto, but unfortunately, that's not gonna be the case now. So we'll have to see. Try to make our home. Uh, well, we thought home was gonna be in Chicago, but now we're gonna try to. Make our home here. We're back home, I guess you could say. Back in the, back in the states here. We're just not on the, not on the, Saint, we're not on the east, eastern side of Missouri. We're on the western side of Missouri, in Saint or Kansas City now. So, uh, we're home. So we'll see how we'll do here. Hopefully, we get called up here before too long here. As you see, the month of July almost getting wrapped up here, and we'll see if we'll get that call up here between now and September. So stay tuned for more Road the Show. With Demarcus King here on ESGN. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to today, or don't forget to subscribe uh, today here on the channel. 
hit that subscription button also don't hit, forget to hit that bell notification so you guys be notified when videos are coming up and um, so you guys be the first ones to know also follow us on social media if you want to be a part of the ESGN nation follow us on Facebook Twitter and Discord. check us out there links are down below in the description and as always uh, keep yourselves and your other healthy and I will see you guys next time